Sheikh Musa Yaradun's death in prison during the regime of General Abacha remains one of the low points of Nigerian history. He'll be remembered for his exemplary patriotism, his commitment to a united Nigeria, and his deep concern for the social and economic di development of the Nigerian people. May so continue to rest in perfect peace in the bosom of the Almighty. But for musicians Shatowale of, of Ghana and Burner Boy of Nigeria, threatening to spark off a diplomatic incident recently. <laughs> Nigeria and Ghana have always been siblings. Even though we quarrel and disagree occasionally, we love each other. <laughs> Indeed, it always comes as a surprise to realize that we do not have a common border. During the colonial time, there was a lot of interaction between the civilian and military intelligentsia of our two countries. Many of them received their higher education in the same institutions in the common imperial center of Great Britain, Oxford, Cambridge, the London School of Economics, Sandhurst, Dartmouth, Cranwell, and the regular annual sporting competition between Achimota School of Ghana and King's College of Nigeria spawned many lifelong relationships. The post-independence era has also maintained and indeed intensified this interaction and intercourse between our two countries. There have also been ugly episodes, like when we expel citizens of each other from our countries, and there are healthier and happier events when we clash in sports. I believe I believe in an encounter on the football field between our two countries remains one of the best in the world. I have no doubt that the 2022 World Cup qualifying matches between our two countries, which begin with a tie in Kumasi tomorrow, will provide another colorful chapter in the annals of the world. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.